guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. And if you're new here, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video, we are gonna talk about Balenciaga announcing that Kim Kardashian has been named as their new brand ambassador. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because, you know, they're saying to Pedialyte, hey, hey, nothing wrong out there to promote our agenda. Because if we stay low after promoting our agenda, you best believe that people will forget about it. And then we can come back and say, Kim is our new brand ambassador. When in reality, she has always been their brand ambassador. It has never changed. The only thing is that... Kim laid low, so did Balenciaga, so as to keep you guys distracted with all the shenanigans that's going on in the world. And what did Kimmy Cakes do? Like hell, use the media to make Ye look like the most toxic, outcast individual in the world so that she knows once the announcement is made again that she is Balenciaga's brand ambassador, people are going to be like, well, at least she's not as toxic as Kanye. But if we all are thinking about who Kim really is, we should know this is definitely not a surprise because Kim herself is a product of Pedialyte. Now, you guys might be asking what I'm talking about, right? First of all, there's some words that, you know, being on YouTube, you cannot say. So please read between the lines and don't try to correct me because I know what I'm saying, okay? And this is a term that I've been using for those people on my channel for over two years because I don't know what the rat's ass is going on. Every day there is someone claiming something that I've stolen from them. My Jamaican slang, my Jamaican lingo, my um, YouTube intro that I have been using for over three years from Canva. Like every day it's some shenanigans. When I tell you people are sick, People are sick because, listen, you have to be truly sick in order to be claiming something that is not yours, to be claiming to have copyright and something that you clearly cannot have copywritten because, like hell, it doesn't belong to you, honey. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get back to the video, shall we? Because if you guys don't remember, last year... um. We had Tucker Carlson. Was it last year or was it the year before? Because it seems so long. Let me go back to my articles here because I have a few things saved, right? So it was back in um, spring of 2023 when Balenciaga basically shared a ad campaign wherein they had kids posing with teddy bears in Bondage. And not only that, to the side of that photo shoot was court documents and online documents wearing Pedialytes were petitioning and fighting against the court for online pedophilia to be accepted and okay, right? And when Tucker Carlson exposed it, a lot of people were very openly, you know, bashing Balenciaga, many people trashed them, many people returned their items, stopped purchasing, some people burned their stuff, there were numerous people demonstrating and doing all of that, right? And then Balenciaga tried to, you know, act as though they were, act as if though they were just the brightest crayon in the box and the internet was so dumb and so slow. They were like, well, we have nothing to do with this. It is the photographer's fault and we're going to file a lawsuit against him, right? But the internet was like, hey, no, because when you guys hire a photographer, the work has to be approved by your department before it is made public, right? And then that did not 
go over as they thought it would. And then they were like, oh, we're going to drop the lawsuit. And when the internet pressured Kim Kardashian, because after that, Kim Kardashian was like, you know what? People were all in their feelings about F. Kim as though I had anything to do with that campaign. I had nothing to do with the campaign, right? That is what she said on that podcast. But before that, Kim Kardashian was posting about, you know what? Um, I've been quiet for the past few days, not because I haven't been disgusted nor outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to their team to understand for myself how this have happened. Right? That is what she posted um, last year. It is still on the internet. But irrespective of her, wanted to understand what happened because Kim wants us to believe that her Kim, who is a con artist, who have been conning men, using men, using the internet, tricking the internet, pulling off her PR stunt, you want us to believe that you did not understand it ad campaign with babies posing with teddy bears in bondage, a table filled with alcoholic beverages and court documents over to the other side, petitioning for Pedialyte to be, you know, accepted online because you're so slow. You could not understand that is what is going on. And irrespective of Tucker Carlson, Candace Owens breaking it all down, you had to talk to Balenciaga because ain't no way that could be true. And ain't no way you had any wisdom or understanding to understand what was right in front of you in black and white. You could not understand. And you still do not understand irrespective of the numerous protests against Balenciaga, the numerous evidence against Balenciaga. She still doesn't understand, honey, and that is why she's back and, you know, letting us know because it's not as though she has been appointed Balenciaga's brand ambassador. She has always been their brand ambassador. She has never declined the position. She had never retired the position. She was just waiting for everyone to be back in love with Balenciaga to say, okay, go ahead, make the announcements. She doesn't care. You see, I've always said to you guys, Kim as the abbot, right? Her motto is the money first and everything else comes after because that's the energy she gives consistently. She has the attitude of a drug dealer, I don't care whose child, whose home, whose family I ruin. I'm just going to poison and intoxicate you all with my product. That's what she does consistently. But then she's a product of Peter Life Business because I'm going to keep it real. If you look at the time that she got involved with, that her mama got involved with her papa, if you know, you know. And if you look at the time that her mom was out in the streets, honey, dating older man, Kim, mom was groomed, Kim was groomed. Kim is coming from a lineage wherein pedialyte is so natural to her because she's of that society. She was cultured into that type of household. So to Kim, this is nothing at all just another day in Hollywood. But to the rest of the world, it is definitely wrong. It is outrageous. And Kim is not going to listen to us because it's some money first and everything else after. Do you know the only time she's going to listen? When everyone comes out and say, I'm not going to buy skims and not just say it, do it. And when people say and do and not buy SKKN and when people really and truly holds her accountable. The internet is dragging her, honey, but that doesn't make a difference to Kimmy Cakes because guess what? She gets dragged every day, several times daily. So for Kim, 
you're not going to forget about this in nine days. And she's going to go on promoting Balenciaga, collecting her clothes, collecting her money. Because the reality is she didn't stop. She was just waiting for it all to die down to come back with the Balenciaga in our faces. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know your thoughts and see you all later, honey. Peace.